Hi everyone, welcome to the latest Rapture Mini Bite. As you can see, I've got a wee friend here with me. This is Ben. Ben is one of Rapture's company pets, along with Teddy, his brother. Now, it's very appropriate that Ben is joining me here today because this week's Rapture Mini Bite focuses on a character speaking to his best friend, his dog. And as you know, Ben and Teddy are Rapture's best friends. Now, the performance this week will be made by the wonderful actor John Stahl. John is very well known for all his roles in film, television and theatre, in particular his recurring role in Take the High Road, that classic Scottish soap opera. But John also appeared with Rapture in 2014 in our production of Uncle Vac, John Byrne's wonderful adaptation of Uncle Vanya. So, without further ado, Ben and I will hand you over to John, who will introduce and perform this week's Rapture Mini Bite. Ben, are you going to say hello to everyone? No. Typical actor. Thank you. My first job when I left drama school was with a children's theatre company touring the length and breadth of England. We performed a Shakespeare anthology in the course of which I was asked to do Lance's speech from Two Gentlemen of Verona. Today I thought I'd give it another try. This is the story of one man and his dog called Crab. When a man's servant shall play the cur with him, look you, it goes hard. Yin that I brought up for a puppy. Yin that I saved for drunin when three or four of his blind brothers and sisters went to it. Ah, he taught him, even as Yin would say precisely, thus would I teach a dog. I was said to deliver him as a present to Mistress Sylvia for my maester, and I comes nae sooner into the dining chamber than he steps up to her trencher and steals her capon's leg. It is a foul thing when a dog can't behave himself in all company. I would he, as yin mech say, yin that takes upon himself to be a dog, to be, as twere, a dog at all times. If I hadn't had mere wit than him, to take upon myself a fault that he did. I think verily he'd have been hanged for it. Share as I live, he'd have suffered for it. You shall judge. He thrust me himself under the Duke's table, into the company of three or four gentlemen like dugs. He hadn't been there, bless the mark, a pissing while, when the hale chamber smelt him. Out with the dog, cries he in. What car is that? cried another. Whip him out, cried a third. Hang him up, said the Duke. I, having been acquainted with the smell before, knew that it was crab. And goes me to see the fellow that whips the dogs. <laughs> Friend, quoth I. He meant to whip the dog. Ay, marry a day, quoth he. You do it the mere wrong, quoth I. Twas me that did the thing he's accused of. He makes nae mere ado, but whips me out the chamber. How many maesters would do that for their servant, eh? <laughs> nay, nee, I'll be sworn. He sat in the stocks, for Puddin's he had stolen, otherwise he'd have been hung for it. He stood in the pillory, for geese he had killed, otherwise he'd have suffered for it. <laughs> and I thinks not of that new, eh? <laughs> Nay. Nah, mind of the trick you served me when I took my leave of Mistress Sylvia. Did I no tell thee to mark me, and day what I day? When didst thou ever see me heave up my leg and make water against a gentlewoman's farthingale? <laughs> when didst thou ever see me do such a thing? <laughs> S 
stay well, be healthy, and we'll see you at the next Rapture Extravaganza. Thank you, John. That was wonderful, wasn't it, Ben? Ben really did enjoy it too. Anyway, the next Rapture Mini Bite will be available next Friday. So please do follow us on Facebook or Twitter, sign up to our YouTube channel, and do keep checking into our website at www.rapturetheatre.co.uk. Thanks again. Thanks for your support. Ben's really appreciative of it, aren't you, Ben? Yeah, I'm boring him already. You can tell. Anyway, we'll see you all next week. Take care. Stay safe.